New Energy Transport is a new kind of trucking company. By combining low-cost renewable energy, high-speed charging and electric trucks, New Energy Transport offers zero emission road freight at no extra cost. Transport is on track to becoming the highest emitting sector in the Australian economy by 2030 and road freight makes up 40% of all transport emissions. By decarbonising heavy road freight, not only can we significantly accelerate the decarbonisation of transport, we can also reduce the overall cost of heavy road freight. There's lots of possibilities coming with electrification, but obviously everything is based on also being able to have charging infrastructure, which is why New Energy Transport is also securing this in the back end of our operation. So we're building our own charging infrastructure to support our own electric heavy primaries for our customers. We're incredibly proud to be working with Multiquip to demonstrate the awesome capabilities of heavy electric trucks. This has been the longest demonstration conducted in Australia to date, and we're incredibly proud to be a part of that. It's been amazing over the last few days to see this incredible piece of equipment in action and, and really proving that it's possible to do heavy electric road freight in a cost competitive way with, with diesel freight. Multicoop's a really diverse business. Uh, we support the poultry industry around Australia. We're always looking at different ways of uh, improving our operations. So with uh, the opportunity to do something like this with an electric vehicle, as opposed to traditional diesels, it gives us uh, a chance to see how it performs um, and how it would actually integrate into our business and uh, see if it actually works for us. Today's demonstration showed that it's not only possible to cut away the greenhouse gases for multi-kip in this particular operation, we also saw that we could actually reach their destination quicker than they normally do with a diesel truck. This demonstration was happening between the multi-kip site in Picton, south of Sydney, and all the way up to Bearsfield, which is almost by Newcastle. So it was a 240-kilometer one-way trip and a total 480. And we could uh, conclude that this truck can do that return trip in only one charge with a 36-ton combination mass. This is the Windrose all-electric prime mover. Uh, Windrose is a new global OEM. It's a 700 kilowatt hour battery, ultra long range. We've achieved 670 kilometers in overseas markets at 49 tons. We're very excited to work with New Energy Transport team. It's great to see people innovating in this space and really leveraging the, the technology that's, that's available. When you're driving a conventional truck, a diesel truck, what happens is you do slow down going up hills. Going down hills is not a problem, you get to regulate your speed there, but on hills uh, you slow down so it averages about 85 kilometres an hour. Driving this, it might average be about 98 to 99 kilometres an hour. We've all probably seen diesel trucks slowing down going up hills because the diesel engine can't handle serious inclines. Electric trucks don't have that problem, so drivers are able to maintain their speed going uphill. And over the course of a journey, this can save a lot of time. And in our demonstration, we showed that we could save up to 20 minutes. Timing is, is a huge factor for any business, particularly the just-in-time business like ours. And being able to save that amount of time, really, it was very surprising for us to see just how much time he was able to save with the vehicle being able to maintain that speed over distance. I was frankly quite shocked. <laughs> and um, I'm sure that's why he got pulled into the Weybridge and they go, hang on, that's, that's a very fast amount of time to be able to maintain it, uh, especially up hills and just you know, constantly being able to work uh, to maintain that speed is amazing. Going up to Pacific Highway and coming back, it, it's beautiful road. I haven't done it much myself being from Victoria. And there was some fantastic moments where the sealed surface was perfect and we could whisper to each other in the prime mover at 100 kilometers an hour, traveling uphill. I'm not new to industrial deafness. I've had that from working as a mechanic, but unfortunately, when you are driving cab overs or bonneted trucks, especially the manual transmission, you do get a lot of drivetrain noise. So after driving something like that, 14 hours a day, six days a week, uh, you do get bad ringing in your ears. Uh, for future truck drivers, it'll be a lot less deafening for them. This was the first time I've actually driven a full electric vehicle. Yeah, I'm all for it. Oh, it's, it's been a really exciting trial for us. It's, um, yeah, we're very pleased to be part of this and to, uh, to actually have this uh, vehicle with us and, uh, and to be part of this trial. It's um, you know, being part of the future and, uh, and seeing how this is going to progress in this country, it's amazing.